Membership fees apply after free trial. Cancel any time. Can I be real for a second? That goal you have to exercise and eat better, you really can do it. But nobody is going to do it for you. And nobody has to, because you can do it if you have the right tools and a community that cares about helping you get results. And that's us, Beachbody. It's as convenient as your TV or laptop, but you need to decide that you're worth it. Let us help you succeed. Here's how. Go to Beachbody.com to claim your free membership and start feeling great. Stand by. The vacuum tubes are warming up. This is a special live broadcast. Right here on Georgia Radio. Well, happy Wednesday to you here, Matt Jolly, hanging out with you on the 30th of November. It's rainy in Georgia. My goodness, we had some storms last night, and I hope it didn't knock any trees down where you're at, but uh, off and running for this fine Wednesday morning. Jim Taylor joins me today. He's the um, well, he's the development director for Houston County Habitat for Humanity. Jim, I'm glad you're here this morning. Matt, thank you so much for the opportunity to be on the show. Listen, the, the work that you folks do is just so incredible. And after a night like we had last night, uh, with all those storms and uh, the, the winds and everything, for folks that don't have a house or folks that live in a house that is in disrepair uh, and simply cannot afford to, uh, to patch that roof or to do whatever they need to do, you are such a cool welcome breeze when you come in. Uh, because a night like last night, uh, it, it's it's a lot of stress for someone uh, who does not have a secure roof over their head. Talk to me about Habitat and what you find folks do down there in Houston County. Well, Matt, again, thank you so much. And yes, it was uh, it was a stormy night. In fact, I was up at about two thirty. I was up, and it was uh, lightning and thunder here at our our area, and hit, raining pretty heavily. But um, Habitat here in Houston County, uh, there's, I think, about 12, 1,300 affiliates around the United States, not counting what we do overseas and, and things like this. But, you know, Habitat kind of came on its own, onto its own back several years ago. And I think it came out of, of all places, America's Georgia. They're now headquartered in Atlanta. And then the Houston County Habitat uh, was formed back in 1991. Uh, started out very humbly uh, down behind City Hall and then moved up on the Watson for a few years. And now we're out on Moody Road and Fagan Mill in the old food line. Um, about a 30,000 square foot building up there. And we, we, we keep it pretty full here. Uh, I'm amazed at the intake that we have on a, on a daily basis. There's three main things that we do here at Habitat for Houston County. One is we build houses and uh, we built 68. Uh, since 1991. The other thing we do is we repair houses. Uh, now, we don't repair mobile homes, but we repair uh, houses. Um, so that being said, uh, we do about $40,000 a year in home repairs, everything from, as you would say, patching roofs to fixing uh, windows and doors. Uh, ramps are big for us because there's a lot of folks with mobility issues in the area, and we do that. What's really exciting is we did end up getting uh, a $200,000 a grant from the governor's office just a few weeks ago, um, and it basically will allow us to do more home repairs and, and things like this. And then the third thing we, we have is our ReStore, and our ReStore, again, is located there along with our corporate office. Uh, at Moody and um, Fagan Mill. In fact, I think the address is 2607 Moody Road. What the ReStore allows us and many other Habitat affiliates to do is create a revenue stream that allows us to operate. Uh, the revenue stream here at the one in Houston County does about $50,000 a month for us, and that helps us cover overhead, obviously employee salaries, things like this. So uh, anybody can bring uh, items to uh, Habitat Restore. Uh, we don't take clothing, uh, but we do take furniture. We take building materials. Uh, I've got a friend of mine, Gwen Giles, here in town with Golden Key Realty. She just bought a home and is remodeling it and called me the other day and said, listen, I've got a garden tub. I've got countertops and cabinets and windows and doors. Would you guys like it? We went, absolutely. And we have our own delivery and pickup team, a couple panel trucks that we use, box trucks. 
And on a daily basis, we go out, we pick up everything from couches and chairs and entertainment units to gym equipment, um, everything that you can think of, like I said, except for clothing. And that allows us to take it in. Uh, clean it. We, I, we've got a little area. In fact, I call the guy Santa's Elf, uh, Santa's Helpers. Um, and he uh, goes back and goes through things like appliances and things like this and make sure they're in working order. We put them out on the floor and people buy. And that profitability allows us to, to continue to operate. I've actually been down to your store and it's a wonderful location. If you are in the business right now of remodeling your home or maybe you're building a workshop or whatever it is, go down there and see the store first because I'm telling you there's all kind of stuff down there uh, that is literally pennies on the dollar uh, from what you'd pay. We have a lot of guys that have a lot of folks that have rental property. And uh, one of them was telling me the other day, Bill Waldorf, who's been doing it for years and years and years, he said, Jim, he goes, you guys got great paint at a great cost, like $19 a gallon. Uh, he goes, and that's what I use on all of my rental properties, both interior and exterior. Um, we have folks like our former county commissioner chairman, Ned Sanders, grabbed me a few weeks ago. He said, hey, listen, just want to let you know, you know, that tornado came through Warner Robins. He goes, kind of killed my house and a lot of stuff in it. And I was able to go in there and replenish what I lost in my house at the restore and save thousands and thousands of dollars to be able to do that. Well, it's a great resource uh, for, for all parties involved in it. Let's talk about these, uh, these new occupancies that you've got going, because as you mentioned earlier, one of the things that I think everybody knows about with Habitat for Humanity is that you build houses. But explain that process, because it's not necessarily a free house for someone. Uh, walk us through this, uh, this process and how this works. Uh, if so, everyone who, who is listening that doesn't understand it uh, kind of has the overview because I think it's a great program. Sure. What, what I love about it, and again, I've been around the construction business for, uh, I don't know, 41 years. Uh, <laughs> my in-laws opened Warner Robins Supply back in 1947. And for the last 10 years, I had been their business development, marketing, and um, uh, director and all this kind of stuff for not only this location, but our other seven locations around North Carolina and South Carolina and, and North Georgia. So I'm very, very familiar. That's how I got acquainted with Habitat. We were always very strong supporters of Habitat throughout the year. But what we have found is with this economy, particularly a lot more people are in need of affordable housing. You know, rents have gone, excuse the pun, but through the roof. Uh, I was talking to a lady the other day. In fact, she's in uh, was in yesterday, I filled an application. Her rent's gone up four times uh, in this past year. And, you know, to get a, a two-bedroom apartment, it's nothing to spend eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 a month for that. Um, we're here at Wood Habitat. What we do is we provide affordable housing to people, a new home um, with a yard, uh, with a carport. We even do a she shed out back that allows them to put like lawn mowers and bikes and things like this stored in there, but it gives them a fresh start and it's a hand up, not a hand out. And literally someone comes in fills out the paperwork. We do an interview process on it. We want to make sure number one, they have, they, they are in need. Number two, they have the ability to pay a mortgage. Uh, and number three, that they basically would be a, a good tenant. What's really amazing, Matt, since 1991, we have not had one foreclosure uh, of the 68 houses that we've wow. built, which is pretty remarkable. But we can literally put someone in a house like that for anywhere between $350 and $500 a month, um, and that includes escrow. And that is a 20-year no-interest mortgage. Now, Habitat has the note on it. Uh, and that those proceeds there allow us to build even more houses. But I'm I'm looking at three of them this year that we've done in 2022, uh, and one is our house number 65 for the Whitfield family. And this was interesting. This was one of my first exposures I had to really what all we do as the development director. And uh, Angela uh, Whitfield is a mother of seven children. And uh, currently, she was living in a three-bedroom apartment and was having a tough time making ends meet. We built her a six-bedroom home 
And uh, I think her mortgage is around uh, five, five fifty a month, something like that. I may not be exactly right on those numbers, but it's a lot less than what you would pay for a three bedroom apartment uh, in a decent area here in Warner Robins. Another one is uh, a lady by the name of Latoya Miller. Uh, she's uh, in the house number sixty six. In fact, we're doing a, a house dedication on December tenth uh, for her, and she has three ki- three uh, sons. And uh, her 20-year-old moved out because he got tired of sharing a, a bedroom with twin nine-year-old brothers. And uh, so we've, uh, that's, that's Latoria. I'm sorry, I got a little confused there. But Latoria, like I said, is the second one. I'm number 66. And then number 67 is a young lady by the name of Katrina Gaines. And she has three children also. And she, she's a parapro in the House of County Board of Education. Um, and we're getting her into a place that basically allows her to, to raise her kids in, in, a, in a safe uh, environment, in a new home. Uh, but again, this gives people, I, I, I feel personally, it gives people a way to get affordable housing and maintain their dignity because it's not a government-funded project. Nothing wrong with those, but it's just this is home ownership, and isn't that the American dream for a lot of people is to own their own home? You mentioned America's Georgia. And when I think of Habitat for Humanity, I think of our previous president there, Jimmy Carter, mm-hmm. and all of the involvement that he's had in that organization over the years. I, let's talk a little bit about uh, about Habitat and its ties here to Georgia. Well, very, very strong ties. Uh, the, the international headquarters is in Atlanta now because uh, they've gotten so big because of all the stuff they're doing internationally, too. Uh, Jimmy Carter uh, grew up in Plains, Georgia, um, was friends with the gentleman who started, and his name escapes me right now, but who started Habitat back in the day. And even as president and after his presidential years, which, you know, President Carter has done a lot more um, in the country after his presidency than during his presidency because he only had four years to do it. So even now in his almost 100 years old, he is still uh, involved with Habitat, which is he and his wife both, uh, which is pretty amazing. But again, with their corporate headquarters being in Atlanta, them getting started in Plains, uh, pretty much Georgia's home to Habitat. I think that's great. You know, there's so many organizations that, that are in that 501c3 category that once the uh, the founder stops or dies or is no longer involved, they just they just sort of wither and die. And right. To see Habitat, and one, one of the things you just said, I think is really powerful, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to draw attention to it. When you said, I, I can't recall his name, that tells me everything I need to know about that organization, because the mission, the mission is what comes first at Habitat, and I think it's just wonderful. Uh, it, everything it that you've done. And, and I mean, right, and, and what's really interesting, too, is, you know, I've been a part of a family business, I've owned a business, all this and, and, and the readings I've done over the years, one of the things that really stuck out to me is one is too small of a number for greatness. And the other thing is that if everything you're doing in your business depends on you, your business owns you, you don't own it. And there's no sustainability in that process. Uh, you know, a lot of companies anymore have a trouble with the next generation taking over family business. Now our, our family did, but there's really no interest in the third generation, and that's why we sold back in last last July. But but isn't it amazing that you have a, a an organization this many years old, uh, and they've got a very strong board of board of directors. I saw some people on there that are uh, very uh, the head or the CEO or the CFO of some of the largest home construction conglomerates in America, and they're on the board at Habitat. So they're in it for the long haul, and I think there's an incredibly bright future from for Habitat, but more importantly for a lot of people that are in need, that need a good uh, organization to support them uh, and not be so dependent on, on government, uh, whether it's on a state, local, or federal level, but they, they can literally pull up their own bootstraps and kind of move forward with their life and, and be a productive part of society. I think that's great. How can we help, Jim? 
Well, right now, we're in fact, today at 4.30 this afternoon is the deadline for any applicants, uh, and they can come by our Habitat Restore, uh, again, which is located at uh, 2607 Moody Road, and, um, and fill out an application to be considered for this next year. Uh, I'll, I'll wrap up with saying this. We've been very blessed financially. Um, in fact, I came on board in May, and what allowed them to do that is we end up getting a million dollar grant uh, from Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie Scott is known as one thing she's known as is being very philanthropic, but she's Jeff Bezos' former wife. And of course, everybody knows now he's given away a lot of his wealth, and that's her thing. And she wants to give away ninety percent of her wealth. She gave like three hundred and seventy million dollars to Habitat International, and then the different affiliates had to basically compete for that money and Houston County ended up getting a million dollars of it. Um, and again, you get 200,000 from the governor's office, 70,000 uh, from like Lowe's. We typically get like 40,000 from Home Depot. And the other day, I understand we're in the running for another $40,000 grant from Publix. So, you know, there's a lot of organizations, there's a lot of money out there. My job is to go find it and help fund uh, the, the mission of Habitat here in the area. But without that and without local donations and local philanthropic folks, and, and as you know, Houston County particularly is very, I mean, we have a very philanthropic community, and it's ties with Robbins Air Force Base and, and things like this. And But what's really neat is we have an affiliate in Macon, Bib, and they're doing a great job up there in, in what they're doing. We can only do the work in Houston County, and to qualify, you have to have either lived in Houston County for this past year or worked in Houston County for this past year, and you can qualify. Our goal is to, to build six houses this coming year, and uh, and we just need the candidates to be able to do that. I think it's great. Well, listen, if you if you know somebody uh, who you think would qualify, uh, give us just, if you can, uh, is there a a standard that you're looking for, or is there a a silver bullet that you're looking for if someone's listening to know someone or maybe then, you know, they themselves could qualify. I, I guess something that would click off all the boxes is if you're, uh, if you have children, uh, we're very sensitive to the needs of, of children through Habitat. Um, so a parent or a couple with children would be great. The other thing we do is we do a veteran build every year. And, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but veterans pretty much are leading the country percentage-wise in homelessness, which is extremely tragic. Um, but, you know, we build homes for veterans. Um, we don't uh, do repairs, but we also actually build homes for them. And we're looking for, that's my next project, is to find a couple of candidates for our veterans build. So if you know any veterans that maybe have fallen up on a little bit of hard times and need some help, they've done so much to us, this is our way of giving back to them. Please have them contact our office. You can go to our website, which is hocohabitat.org. Uh, you can give us a call, which is 478-328-3388. You can even check us out on Facebook. And if you want to do some uh, private messaging through that or whatever. But again, our deadline for homes for this year uh, is going to be the end of the day today. There's still time, so people could still come in and do that. We don't do it over the phone. People literally have to come in, and we have to interview them a little bit for that. But again, Matt, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to to tell our story and to get the word out there and what House County Habitat's doing. And I really appreciate it, Jim. Thanks for coming on. I hope you uh, come you. back on, and we'll talk again real soon. Anytime. All thank right. you, Matt. Jim Taylor, everybody. We'll be right back after this. Stand by. The vacuum tubes are warming up. This is a special live broadcast. Right here on Georgia Radio. Radio, radio. Hi, this is Wade Peebles from Georgia Folk and Farm Life Radio. I'm here to tell you about Meeks Brothers Cattle Company. And you don't have to worry about supply chain issues or where your beef comes from. Do what I do and call Meeks Brothers Cattle Company today. You can get a whole, half, a quarter, any amount of beef you want. Good quality beef. Back in pack. Lasts up to three years in your freezer. It's grass-fed, grain-finished, made to order. Visit Meeks Brothers Cattle Company on Facebook today and tell them Brother Wade sent you. And that's Meeks Brothers Cattle Company. Thank you. I know you can hear me, and so can your customers. Lots of people don't take kids seriously. Well, listen up. Advertising on Georgia Radio is seriously easy and affordable. 
visit georgiaradio.com slash advertise or better yet, call the station. So let's talk. Your customers are listening and so is my mom. Hi, mom. Membership fees apply after free trial. Cancel any time. Can I be real for a second? That goal you have to exercise and eat better, you really can do it. But nobody is going to do it for you. And nobody has to, because you can do it if you have the right tools and a community that cares about helping you get results. And that's us, Beachbody. It's as convenient as your TV or laptop, but you need to decide that you're worth it. Let us help you succeed. Here's how. Go to Beachbody.com to claim your free membership and start feeling great. Georgia Radio. Good company and great country. Well, we'll get back to the music here in just a few more minutes, but I uh, want to thank again Jim Taylor for coming on. I want to thank you for listening. I don't know if Brother Wade's in the woods right now or if, I, uh, if I'm if i just talking to his voicemail. Let's see. Wade, is that you or your voicemail? It's my voicemail. I thought so. Yeah, Are you way. working today? I am driving in, in the cooler, <laughs> Georgia, in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I, I think about you every time it rains. I was I was waking up this morning. I was thundering and lightning and carrying on, and I thought, you know, those log truck drivers they never check the weather. Yeah, no, no, not loggers. They yeah, we don't. Well, what's funny is uh, my brother hauls logs too for a friend of ours there in at Brown Home, and I talked to him a while ago. Their road was getting in a mess with the rain, and they they had a fellow bring a load of a dump truck uh, with a load of uh, rock and gravel to dump in the road so they could make it in and out. And he had to haul clay. He had about a foot of clay in the bottom of his trailer. He's supposed to clean that out before you haul something different. He came out there this morning and dumped out that load of rock and it had clay in it. They can't even use the road. They had to try and go home. And I told my brother, I said, send him to our wood. Send him. We need some of that in our road. I would love to try and go home today. That would yeah. be my thing to do. Yeah, yeah you I can't did. go home now, though. Now, no. Uh, I'm going to invest, certainly invested in today's work now. Yeah, you're out there working in the woods. I, well, I just talked to Jim Taylor. He's uh, the development director there for Habitat uh, Habitat for Humanity there in Houston County. Get this. Today is the cutoff for applicants for 2023. So, if, if again, if you know anyone in, in Houston County that would qualify, a veteran, a single mother, uh, someone, they're very sensitive to children, uh, that, that might be in need of a home, today is the day. We've got to share that on Georgia Folk and Farm Life. The only thing is they've got to go – They've got to go to the office today. They've got to do it in person. Wow. But today is the cutoff, and they still have some room. I mean, well, it would be worth it. Go, it would. If you in need, if you qualify, go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I, I thought about thought about you. We're going to be sure and share that on Georgia Folk and Farm Life later. Fun show last night, though. That was a lot of fun. If you missed it, you can check out the podcast of uh, the Georgia Folk and Farm Life show. It's up there, and it's available right now. My sister Connie's. Told me this morning on the phone, she listened to it. She said, I hear a new load. And I'm talking about the laxative story. And, uh, yeah. I think the laxative story is a funny story. And I don't know. Mm-hmm. To me, Every it's lesson. a. I told her, I see she's not on Facebook. Right? She said, Well, how was it received on the book? On the, the, I said, Listen, people said it was the funniest thing I'd ever written. Some said it was the funniest thing they ever read. And <laughs> they were hurting from laughing. They spit their coffee out. They, uh, yeah. And Connie, After Connie. They just, cried. Yeah. Connie, Miss, Sister Connie doesn't get it. She's now, she's not she it, is, it. yeah. She just poor poor sister Connie. She's gonna well, be. She told me to send, it to, you. send it to her and then she would read it and then reassess her assessment. Yes, <laughs> Connie, we love sister Connie. Oh yes. my goodness! I hope she can come to the old time radio hour. We'll have What's to see. The word last night you used it was uh, astute. Well, staccato. 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 Yeah, yeah, we were talking about the yeah. differences yeah. in I accents. See. Yeah. You got to meet you two of them, staccato. Staccato. Yeah, there's a Texas staccato. Uh, it's almost to like a It sounds like what it is, you know, staccato. Mm. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but I guess so. What's for lunch today? What are you doing for lunch today? Well, I always like asking you that because. I had a bacon sandwich for breakfast. Lunch is yet to be uh, thought of. You have all your favorite places, though, that you like to go. And, yeah, I just don't take time. I don't eat lunch really most of the time. Yeah. But we have you a stop great boss. He brings, they bring lunch to the crew every day, and if I'm out there, I know I'm going to be there during lunchtime. I'll tell them to bring me some, and they'll bring it, but uh, I'd rather do that. I'm, uh, well, I'm ready to I go back to the brown bag. I'm home with baby Conway. Yeah, we'll go there to get a great burger. I'm ready for the brown bag. If you're down in that area, 
near Garfield, you got to go by the brown bag. In and, Twin City, yes. In it's Twin a City. little, little place, and they have a pushy cat if he's still there outside to take your food if you're not careful. <laughs> he, he's right listen, the pushy cat would be a great panhandler in New York City. Because <laughs> yes, he would. He'd pushy do right cat, well. He, he would do just fine. It, it'd take no fun answer. No. Yeah. No, he'd be yeah. fine out there. Well, no, it's a, and it's not fast food if you're at the Brown Bag, so don't go there no, 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 expecting no. a quick turn. This is a, a good restaurant where they make the food from scratch, and you're going to go in there, and uh, they're going to take good care of you. It's worth the wait, isn't it? It is, and we're not on the spot. They didn't, we're, getting paid to, we're not getting paid to say no, that. No, it's just good food. Honest in, truth. In Twin City. When are we going to have the mayor of Twin City on this show? I don't know. We need to get Matt Donaldson of there, uh, and, and we need to get the mayor of Swainburg, Greg Bennett, on and, and harass. I mean, I'll talk to them, interview them. And, uh, well, I know you've tried. Maybe maybe you need to take the backdoor approach and yeah. work your way in there and and get with the, the right people, perhaps, to have. You know, it's Twin City. It's 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 a big job. It's two cities that he's doing. So, you know. He's a busy man. I understand that, but we'd hope he. I hope he comes on your show at some point. All right, Wade. I got to cut you loose because you've got to go. You've got <laughs> multiple loads of logs. You're a busy, busy man. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Later. You're a busy guy. Hey, by the way, by the way, did you see? Did you see what our friend Michael Bright put on display the other day? Was it that? Uh, one from uh, one from Hart. What's your name? Well, he got he he has some new stuff even from uh, from Buck Owens down there. Oh no, I didn't see that. Yeah, you got to see the Buck Owens. By the way, we we need to take a a collection up for Michael's dancing because yeah yeah we need his dancing videos dance. are the best. I think. better than a dancing chicken, you know, it really is. Yeah, but I think his dancing videos are the best, and I yeah. think he could do real well with that down, especially if he played some music. Uh, from some of the folks that that you know had memorabilia in remember that old song "Chicken Dance" from early in the internet era. Yeah, yeah play that. That would be a good background. He Michael just needs, could dance the chicken dance. He, he needs to or keep as, the dance. Or as Conway videos. says, the chicken chicken dance. Well, Michael, if you're listening, keep the dancing videos coming. Those are yeah, fun, and and the Buck Owen stuff's really great. But it's all down there at Main Street Market, and it is a good place. It's great, a wonderful place. Main Street Market, the antique mall there in Swainsboro, and uh, and Michael has the he runs that and has the. Uh, Music Memories Museum. That's right. He and his wife have it, and a mm-hmm. great, great place. you got to go down and see it. And they got some uh, great collectibles and antiques and some really things you wouldn't think you would find in Swainsboro. And I'm not talking about Michael and the family. I'm talking about the, the, the Music Memories Museum. That was That's right. Joking. That's yeah. right. No, but but he, seriously, a lot of people know him. He's a Southern gospel singer. Yeah, and, uh, Michael's a great guy. Yeah, and great guy, but he runs the runs the antique mall down there, the Main Street Market. And and the Music Memories Museum is one of my favorite things to go and see when I'm in Swainsboro. He's got some good stuff in there, really. He does. He's got. What did you tell me the other day? He he sent a a picture out uh, of some. I I know I know the shirt or whatever. It's a shirt or something that you're talking about. Anyway, it, he has all kind of stuff down there. You got to yep. go down and see it at the Music Memories Museum, especially if you're a country music fan, because there's so much to uh, to see and do down there. And Michael, if you're listening, more dancing videos. I'm telling you that. Yep. that your, bring out, bring it on. Yeah, your Michael Jackson video, that uh, that got some traction. I seriously, more dancing. You need to do some dancing videos, Wade. Yeah, right. That's You'd be good need. at that. That that gets some it, it readers. Shut us down. Well, you want me? To, I wind up in the nursing home. <laughs> Break the hip. Fall over. What bad. happened to Wade? Yep. Well, he tipped he over. Fell over. Yeah, he, he fell over. He flipped. He tipped over. Tipped over. Look, Not I can't the, even bend over tie my shoes. And you know, without being in danger of you know tipping over, so don't I, you don't need me dancing. If you sneeze, you might pull a muscle. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm getting <laughs> old and frail. Downright infirmed. Yes. <laughs> infirmed. All right. Be safe out there on those wet roads. We'll talk to you real we'll soon, brother. All right. All right. All right. Wade All Peoples, right. everyone from Georgia Folk and Farm Life. You can find his show on Tuesday nights at 7:30 here on Georgia Radio. We've got some great music coming up today. No kidding. Tonight, of course, an encore presentation of Classic Country and Request. That starts at 7 o'clock, runs all the way till 9. Thursday night, it's Bluegrass Night on Georgia Radio. 7 to 9. Miss Cindy Ball comes on with uh, Knee Deep in Bluegrass. And then that show 
uh, encores again on Saturday night and Sunday morning. Yes, yeah, Sunday morning, it's uh, the gospel show that she does. So great stuff from Cindy Bauckham. Just truly happy to have her here and bringing sounds of bluegrass to Georgia Radio. Got a lot of great country music coming up. Don't forget the app and the smart speaker uh, stuff. That we, what do they call that? A skill, an Alexa skill. We've got that now. So if you download the app, all you have to say is, hey, Alexa, hey, Siri, whatever it is, uh, launch my Georgia radio, and then it'll play it. It's pretty neat, pretty handy. So y'all check it out. You can also listen to us in your car, truck. We'll talk real soon. So long. Georgia Radio. Good company and great country. Enjoying the country music. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your vehicle's engine with Syntec at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines to dissipate heat and reduce friction and wear. Right now, get five quarts of Syntec Full Synthetic and a MicroGuard Select oil filter for just $33.99. Try Syntec today, exclusively at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. <laughs> Membership fees apply after free trial. Cancel any time. Can I be real for a second? That goal you have to exercise and eat better, you really can do it. But nobody is going to do it for you. And nobody has to, because you can do it if you have the right tools and a community that cares about helping you get results. And that's us, Beachbody. It's as convenient as your TV or laptop, but you need to decide that you're worth it. Let us help you succeed. Here's how. Go to Beachbody.com to claim your free membership and start feeling great.